After you've made your video, a screen should open up in Screencastify that has all your other videos in it, but, sh but it should autoplay the video you just made. I would strongly recommend renaming the video so you know which one you're looking for. In this case, I've named mine just video response. Now, the video is made, it's set, it's good, but again, we just want the audio for this video. We do not want the actual video. You want to, on the right-hand side, you should have this watch page. You should have an option to export video, and for you guys, for students under more options, find the export as MP3 option. This will create just an audio file of what you said. And when you click that, this little drawer will open up, it'll export it, it should take just a few seconds, and it'll be there, and then you want to click download the mp3. Now it'll download it, you can access it from there, but there's a better way to put it into your documents. Go to your Google Drive, and in your recent folder, you should have something that shows up as the video response mp3 and this is just the audio if you get the go to share and then make sure you change the access so anyone in rockford public schools can access it and then copy the link and now you've got it copied you have just the audio to put it into this document you want to select the text you want to turn into a hyperlink press control and K open up this window then control and V and once you apply it you should see this turn blue and become underlined and then when I click on it the audio file should be there for me to someone to access and listen to and you've made a hyperlink of an mp3 of your audio response now anyone can access it and listen to it you can just drop it in like that but that is ugly doesn't look nice and very awkward to read so just keep it like this and keep it nice